So I'm back out here working on this 1947 Alice Charmers B and got her running strong now. Everything sounds good in the engine compartment. Did an oil change on her a little while back. She's got a fresh uh, oil filter too. So engine is in good shape. However, the transmission slash hydraulic oil has been neglected. So this car, or excuse me, this tractor sat outside for maybe four or five years. I cracked this fill port the other day and there was some white fluid in there, which indicates to me that water had gotten in there. I was reading online that possibly a bad boot here will allow water to get into this case. So I'm gonna drain that fluid out today. Went down to AutoZone and got some STP tractor fluid, which this is just like a general purpose hydraulic and uh, transmission fluid. According to the original manual for this tractor, they, these originally got uh, 20 weight oil in the back, but this stuff's a bit more advanced and probably better for it. So let me get started. First thing I gotta do is drain out the fluid. Looking underneath the tractor, I see three plugs. There's one here. This appears to be the lowest. There's one right beneath the PTO here. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is hit each of these uh, with a hammer just to kind of help break the threads loose. And then I'll get a, they appear to be a half inch drive. So I'll get my wrench in here and try and take these plugs off. No, that's a normal sound. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yep, that is... That is not good. Hope this doesn't overflow. Oh god. Oh boy. Oh, I might have to put my finger in here. Oh, I don't want to. When do I make the decision? You want to get, a, you want to get some towels? Uh. Yep. Do it. Yeah, hang on. Do you want me to get towels? Or what? What do you want me to do? Um, you want to get the camera? Oh, you want? Stupid. So I have a bit of a problem here. Um, the hydraulic slash transmission fluid is draining out of this faster, faster than this oil pan will go into the lower holding chamber. And I'm just using my thumb to kind of keep the fluid from coming too fast. Uh, yeah. This is a weird situation. It's, it's subsided about a half inch, so I'm, I may try and let the fluid out again. It's slowing down. I might be okay now. Yeah. yeah, I think I'll be okay now. Okay. I hate you. Well, the new fluid will definitely help, but I think uh, I'm going to have to run this new fluid and then change it out um, after a couple hours of use. Oh, yeah, there's, there's some pretty thick, nasty sludge. It's pretty bound, brown back there, too, so that indicates to me that, uh, you know, the water that got in here is, is doing some rusting and corrosion, which is really not good. So, All right, so I'll put these caps back on here. I'll get this fresh fluid in here and... Uh, and we'll get her going. So I've decided it's going to be in the best interest of the tractor if I can try and get in here and clean some of that sludge out of there. So I'm going to try taking off this plate that surrounds this PTO shaft and uh, we'll see if I can't take this off. 
I don't, I, I'm just not sure if that's pressed on there. Or, I don't know what kind of seal's on there, so I'll give this a try, see what happens. No, oh wait, you can't just That was my it. question. Oh. Well, you gotta jack up the front end. Yeah. That's yeah. What I'm Okay, so uh, clearly I'm not going to be able to get in here to clean this sludge out like I was hoping, so I'm just going to put this uh, this plate back on here. So here's the stuff I'm putting in here. It's STP Premium Tractor Fluid, which I got from AutoZone. It only cost me about $45. I looked at similar products from Amazon, and uh, I couldn't find anything really comparable under $70, so AutoZone ended up being the best choice now. This is a multi-purpose tractor fluid. It's good for all season, you know, summer and winter, and it's designed for transmission, final drives, hydraulic systems. So that's it's just the type of stuff we want, which uh, which I believe this is kind of like a more conventional oil. It doesn't say full synthetic anywhere, but you know what? Some conventional oil in this thing will be just fine, especially compared to what was originally put in here, which was just W20. So. I got the fill cap open and I'm gonna have to have some help, somebody holding my long funnel and we'll fill this up. And as for the fill line, it says oil level right here built into the case and it's right at that arrow so it's, it's gonna be uh, just maybe a quarter, half inch below this, uh, this threaded cap here. Bring it closer. Put it on on top of the green. Good. Is it going in? Yep. So, I'm working underneath this 1947 Alice Charmers B, and I'm going to show you two things. I'm going to attempt one thing, and I know the other thing, so this is the draw bar. And the cool thing about this draw bar is it's adjustable. You can adjust the height, how high it sits off the ground. And there are six adjustment settings you can do with this draw bar. So, this is kind of the pivot pin right here, and what you can do, you can take out this bolt right here, and you can lower this draw bar and put it in one of these two holes. So that gives you three different settings right there. And I know you're asking, well, you said there were six settings. Well, there are. What you can do to get the other three settings, if you want to have this thing lower, is you take out this pivot pin completely. So you take out this bolt and this pulls out, same thing on the other side. And then you flip this draw bar 180 degrees, flip it upside down. Uh, because the pivot pin and the draw bar is somewhat low, when you flip this over, that pivot pin will be high. So what that means is the draw bar is going to sit lower. Right now it's on the highest possible setting because uh, I've got a parade coming up and I want to tow uh, the homemade trailer that I made behind this and uh, the highest setting is about 20 inches and that's about where the ball on my truck sits and that's where the trailer sits pretty flat and level. But anyway, the other thing I got to do while I'm under here is in this, I guess you call this almost a gear hub. Um, I just opened this drain plug or fill cap or fill plug, whatever you want to call it, and the oil in there was quite filthy. Now there's two ways about going to, uh, to drain the fluid out of here. One way, the proper way, is you can remove all these bolts surrounding this, uh, uh, we'll call it a oil bath. Yeah, so you can remove all the bolts surrounding this oil bath here. Or you can do what I'm about to do, and this is kind of the cheap, quick way to do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this drain plug. Of course, I'm expecting uh, this is going to be a bit messy. So getting my 
oil pan ready to go here. I'm going to loosen this up. Okay, take that plug out. I'm going to try and capture as much oil as possible. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm actually using a shop towel for this to kind of run down here. And as you can see, this stuff's pretty nasty. It's black. Yeah, it's not good. So a couple years ago, I needed to refill my differential, my pumpkin. And in order to fill that, oftentimes you need a little pumper like this. And this, this is a wonderful tool to have. So you can use this in two ways. One, you can stick this down into something and you can drain something, which is what I'm about to do, or you can stick this in a bottle and you can use this tube to direct uh, whatever you're trying to suck out of the bottom bottle and, and fill up something. So I've used this in the past to fill up my differential. Now I'm gonna use it in kind of the reverse manner where I'm gonna try and stick this in here and pump any of this crappy oil out of here. And I'll try and get as much out of it as I can. This is actually working quite well. You can see this nasty crap that's come out of here. Oh uh, yeah, that's some that's some good stuff right there. Quite effective. This is gonna be a bit of the tricky part because I gotta bend this tube down in here. Okay, so I got this thing pumping. What I ended up doing was I took the hose that goes off this spout here. And it's just a little bit smaller than the intake hose here. So I attached the spout hose, inserted onto the end of the intake hose. And then in order to get this deep down into this pool here, I ended up using a pick and just a little bit of persuasion and working it in and out and eventually got it right down to the bottom. Now the oil that's coming out of this right now has somewhat of like a light brown color. So uh, my guess, or what that indicates to me, is uh, that water definitely got in here, and uh, therefore there's a bit of corrosion going on in here. So this is the main reason why I'm, I'm you know, going pretty hard trying to get this fluid out of here. And uh, we're getting most of it out of here. As long as we get most of it out of here and I can put some fresh oil in here, I think we'll be in good shape. So after I empty this, um, I'm not going to put gear oil in here. Gear oil, I'm sure, is the right thing, but you know what? I When I went down to uh, AutoZone, I ended up getting five gallons of tractor fluid, which that's a combination of hydraulic fluid and hydraulic oil. Transmission fluid and hydraulic oil, excuse me. So I'm just going to throw that stuff in here. You know, I'm sure compared to what they put in here back in the day, I mean, that's still going to be far superior. So I'm not too concerned either. This, this tractor isn't going to be working that hard. It's just going to go to... Uh, Couple, couple parades, drive it around the yard every now and then, so that should be more than enough. Okay, so I'm ready to fill this back up. First thing I gotta do is clean out the line, and to clean out the line, I'm gonna wipe it down. I'm gonna insert it in my tractor fluid, which again, probably better to use gear oil, but you know what? Sometimes you just use what you have. that old crap come out of there until I start seeing fresh stuff come out and I'm seeing fresh stuff and I'm just gonna start pumping this in here until it just about comes out this hole okay that is one side filled. After quite a bit of a struggle, I think that suctionator is uh, getting to the point where it needs to be replaced. I bought it in Indiana, I want to say maybe six years ago, and I've used it for uh, many various tasks. And uh, she's starting to grow a bit weak on the suction, so uh, time to replace her, but. 
I'll finish up the other side and that will be the end of this job. So I'm covered in grease or tractor fluid and likely some old dirty gear oil. But that's about it for this video. So uh, thanks for watching and subscribe for more.